I want to share uh, an interesting experiment uh, that has been conducted in my farm uh, on pomegranate. So actually I have a problem with uh, 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 squirrels, birds and the fruit sucking moths. And I struggled a lot. For about a couple of years, I lost majority of my crop for squirrels, birds and the fruit sucking moths. And I tried different options. So I started with uh, plain paper covers. Uh, so these paper covers are maybe damaged by the squirrels and birds. No, I discontinued that one. Then I started with uh, uh, plain transparent polythene covers. So these transparent polythene covers, I bore holes into it to provide aeration. And uh, so the advantage of these polythene covers is you no, know, they are transparent and we can see uh, what is happening inside the growth of the fruit and you no, know, the infections or pest disease development and so on. And but what happened? You no, know, I started observing sunburns, uh, some burning spots on the skin of the fruits. So these burning spots actually uh, that too in winter season. So what was happening? So the dew drops accumulated inside the cover. So they are concentrating, for acting as a lens, like you no, know, uh, the hand lens we use, uh, uh, and uh, they are actually causing the burns, uh, blemishes on the uh, skin of the fruit. And uh, so that uh, thing I have discarded. And then I started with uh, uh, opaque uh, polythene covers, which are blue in color, very thick. And uh, there is another issue uh, with these uh, uh, polythene covers. So I can't see what is happening inside the size of the fruit and you know, the pest disease infestations and all. And the other problem is when I spray something, usually in natural farming, you use plant extracts or herbal contact uh, uh, medicines. So these medicines uh, uh, are not actually reaching the fruit. So the contact is not there and the covers are preventing uh, it. So we are unable to actually treat the fruit if there is infection. And the most important thing with these opaque covers is, you no, know, inside the opaque covers, the lots of mealybug was developed. So, so these mealybugs actually in each and every cover I have seen this uh, mealybug issue. And whenever I want to spray that, you no, know, these covers are preventing the sprays. So I discontinued that experiment also. And uh, next, I have also used the cloth bags to wrap up the pomegranate fruits. But, so these uh, cloth bags also were damaged by the squirrels, birds and also the fruit sucking moths. So they are also cloth, cloth covers, cloth bags are of no use. I actually uh, bought a huge net. I started covering on the uh, plants, but no, that was very expensive. I can't bear that expenses. I discarded that one also. And the next thing, I observed the squirrels, so they are actually climbing to the trees nearby. So inside the farm and the borders of the farm. And uh, to prevent the climbing and all, I actually uh, wrapped some uh, thorny bushes uh, around the stems so that no, they cannot climb up. So then the squirrels are going a distance and coming back again into the farm. Then I bought uh, the squirrel catching nets. Uh, from the market and I tried with those nets also I failed miserably because I'm not good at catching squirrels with the nets. So in between something interesting has happened. So uh, I had a rat manage in my farm sheds and uh, the store rooms and for that I brought a cat. So, so that cat has great enthusiasm towards the squirrels. So, so all the time it used to chase the squirrels. So I can't chase squirrels atop up the tree but these cat can run and chase these uh, uh, squirrels uh, up to the tree. Uh, so, so that season for, a, for about uh, a couple of months or more than uh, two, three months, uh, there was a tremendous protection from the squirrels. So after that, what has happened now, these cat stopped chasing those squirrels. So I can't ask that cat now uh, to go and chase the squirrels. So it is uh, its will and wish. So it is going somewhere and now it is relaxed and now it is actually eating somewhere and sleeping somewhere. So what shall I do? So, so that's, then uh, I have got uh, another couple of cats because this is a new cat, new cats might have enthusiasm. I thought that no, uh, I can get a few more cats. So I got um, two more cats to the farm and these cats are very lazy and they eat and sleep, so they don't even move in the farm. So, so how to handle this no, with the cats? So I don't know. 
so so these are my you know so i was so desperate uh, losing the crop to the squirrels and birds you no know, hard burning and then so what happened suddenly i had a mosquito net so which was lying idle not using so then i thought of why can't i use this you no know, uh, mosquito net which is idle so i cut that into small pieces and i started wrapping the fruits pomegranate fruits uh, with those mosquito nets and surprisingly this prevented squirrels birds uh, from damaging the fruits and uh, another uh, important factor is you no know, the fruit sucking moths so these fruit sucking moths which is a menace which i cannot handle naturally uh, are also actually uh, prevented reaching through these uh, mosquito nets so, so so the thing now is large scale farms huge farms uh, it's not possible but to certain extent if somebody wanted to protect large size fruits uh, which will fetch them a premium price in the market so they can protect a selected fruit by wrapping this uh, this one and for home gardeners and small holder farmers this is an excellent solution for example this will protect the fruit from squirrels birds fruit sucking moths and fruit borer so one solution for majority of the problems so i am certainly happy about it because i struggled a lot and for a couple of years i lost the crop and uh, then uh, i uh, uh, find a solution i am happy absolutely happy